In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for calcium nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do when we're balancing net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see right away I have these two nitrate ions and just one over here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the KOH. That gives me two nitrate ions. Now I have two potassiums. Put a two over here. Potassiums are balanced. I have two hydroxides. That's good. I have two here, one calcium, one calcium. This is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. We're going to write AQ. That'll dissolve, dissociate. Potassium hydroxide, strong base. That's going to dissolve and dissociate. And calcium hydroxide, that's a little more problematic. Let's look that up on a solubility table. So here's calcium and here's hydroxide. So we go over and down and we see this SS. That means calcium hydroxide slightly soluble. And for the purpose of net ionic equations, we consider that to be insoluble. So we're going to write an S. We're going to treat this as a solid and it will precipitate. It'll be a precipitate in our reaction here. Calcium hydroxide is a bit of a difficult one. It's considered to be a strong base. And with a strong base, what does dissolve does dissociate completely, but not a lot dissolves. So if you have really much of a concentration of calcium hydroxide, you'll have that precipitate. You have another nitrate here. That'll be aqueous. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. Calcium group 2 is 2 plus the whole nitrate here, 1 minus. So we have Ca2+, plus, that's the calcium ion. I won't write the states right now. And then two of these nitrate ions here. So 2NO3 minus potassium group 1, 1 plus the whole hydroxide, 1 minus two potassium ions, and then two of those hydroxide ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids up. We're just going to write CaOH2 keep that all together. Then we have plus and minus. So we have two potassium ions and then two nitrate ions, just like in the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I can see in the reactants here, two nitrate ions. Also in the products, spectator ions, cross them out, two potassium ions. And again, in the products. We're going to cross those out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for CaNO3 2 plus KOH. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for calcium nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. Charge is balanced. We have 2 plus here, 2 times 1 minus. That's 2 minus. So net charge of 0, net charge of 0 over here. The atoms, if you count them up, they're balanced too. The calcium hydroxide here, it is slightly soluble, so we're saying it's a precipitate, it's a solid, but some will still be dissolved in the water. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CaNO32 plus KOH. Thanks for watching.